Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Crater. Today is August 5th and today we're going to be doing some masking stamp projects and I am using this stamp right here and I got this from an online search and I believe I typed in layering stamps. So I've already did a little bit of work. I'm going to make this video a little long. I guess it's going to not be short, but I um, went ahead and did some prefabrication. So I stamped this out and I cut it and I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to come back with another stamping block and just stamp around here. I've seen this technique a few times on various channels. And I can probably say more than a few times, but this will be my first time ever trying it out. And I'm super excited about that. I love trying new projects, but you all know that I'm a big chicken when it comes to some projects. So I'm going to be using this Martha Stewart stamping block that I got from Tuesday morning. Um, it was 99 cents, which I guess is a super awesome deal considering you know Martha Stewart is like the queen of crafting and even though um, word on the street is that you know she's retired and her and Snoop are hanging out on that cooking show that they have together I'm not sure if she's retired because you know she could she sold her company so she may actually just have sold her company and someone's gonna take her brand her stuff is made by EK Tools, and that's not going to work. So, or EK Success, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, they may actually just keep her name and make products. Because some of her stuff is interchangeable with theirs. I remember when I first learned how, or learned about, um... I won't say first learned, I will say when I first got into trying to craft I want to get her um, anchor punch and I couldn't find it I couldn't find it and then I would call them because that's who made it and it was like it's no longer in stock but they actually sell one but I wanted the Martha Stewart one I just had to have a Martha Stewart one so I got lucky a couple of months ago and was able to look that didn't come out right and that's why you need to use your stamping tool. But I want to stamp around the page. I don't want to... Um, let's see. Alright. Good enough. I don't know if I like this. Because the ink doesn't really fit. I guess I should have one of those little um, drops. Right? Those little droppers. But I actually, I kind of like double stamps when I make a mistake and I have to stamp over it. Um, you just want to make sure you have good ink coverage and not on your fingers like I did. I um, got an email from Joyce who suggested, um, you know, a quick craft and I'll probably get that done within these next couple of days um, so thank you Joyce for giving me that suggestion I appreciate it and according to what the back of this stamp block says it's supposed to you're supposed to be able to apply even pressure around and I don't think that's really happening right now as you can see the same spot is missing um, the mark I guess you could say it's not stamping so what I'm going to do is I am going to just suck it up <laughs> and take this off the ink block and put it on my stamp tool and just work the paper versus working my nerves so give me a few seconds please okay so I have determined that that's not gonna work so what I am going to do is use both of these beautiful pieces of tool to create what I want to create so what I've done 
is I'm going to use my stamp tool as the placement piece for coverage of the foam and I'm just going to put I put it on the opposite side so this piece of um, shows like that because that is what I wanted to achieve and I don't know if I've shared this with you all I can't remember but I've told some people that I believe some of the stuff that they sell at Tuesday morning is kind of the oops products not all of them not everything at Tuesday morning is broken um, so that's not what I'm saying but I do believe that sometimes you know if you're buying from a discount store you get discount things um, and it was 99 cents originally. I don't know what the original price was. It's probably too much, no matter what it was. And sometimes we do only pay for the name. So we're only going to be making one of these. Um, because I don't know how it's going to turn out. And I want to color my roses different colors. So I'm going to pull out... Uh, we may make more than one. But this is a lot of um, work. But I think what I will do with all of the other ones is put this in different locations. I hope that makes sense. Different locations on the card. Um, we'll see how this one turns out. But we are only going to make one of these on camera. And if I choose to make more, I'll just do that at my own time. Because now we still have to color and I don't want to stamp and color. Ah, see that would not go well. Let's see if I can get it. This centerpiece, if you do decide to get those, this stamp from online. Um, um, I, I'll just call it unbranded because I don't know the brand. It looks too nice of a stamp not to be a real stamp that maybe was a knockoff. Um, apply pressure in the center because that's where I've had issues with it for the most part all right so we only got one double stamp which is cool that's fine no big deal so let me go ahead and put this stuff aside It's supposed to rain here today. It rained last night and it's supposed to rain here today. Um, we were supposed to go walking today, my little roommate and I, and I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to go walking because as you all, well, not all of you, but last weekend I went walking and it rained. And I'm like, I'm determined. So I didn't get too wet, but I want to walk three miles and I only walked two miles because of the rain um something is better than nothing um my accountability partner at work she um had us some errands to run the last couple of days so we didn't get a chance to work out so I really want to get out there and do something today but I also want to run well not run drive to the thrift store and I only know a few of them um, we also have a flea market that I want to go to but my little roommate is at the stage of independence he's about to be two so he's at that stage of I can do everything on my own I don't need your help don't touch me I will give you love when I want to give you love so leave me alone lady now go fix me some food and give me some apple juice um, that's where I'm at I'm not sure how you were when your kids were at that stage. As you all know, I'm older. I'm an older first time mom. So, I pretty much let him do whatever he wants to do when it comes to certain things and other things. I'm more like, no, you can't do that because I'm the mom. You're not the father. You're not the mom. You're not the boss of me, you know things like that so I try to um, find a balance 
in 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 our coexisting because I'm definitely not a wild banshee like he is. He's definitely um he definitely takes from his father some of the outrageous things that he does. Um his dad said he used to get a whooping every day, like three or four times a day. I was like, how can one person stand so much pain? First of all. And secondly, why don't you listen? And then I was like, yep, you still don't listen now. So, um, I want to get to that stage. And he doesn't eat, speak English that well, my son. You know, eventually I will get to that stage of no, and he will stop. But right now he's testing his limits and my patience. So, it is all good because I wouldn't trade any of my anything None of the stuff I've been through, go through, or will go through for his presence in my life. I'm so grateful and thankful for him. Every day. Every day. Um, so, what we're going to do now, and I I don't have my heating gun connected to this area. I don't know where it's at, actually. I thought I heard him say, Mommy. Um... <laughs> but what we're going to do now is color these up and give me a second because I want to color with some markers okay so I am back we're back yay and we're going to use this one because I originally tried to do that it didn't work out properly um, I have some markers that I got in the D-Stash I know nothing about but these are um, Fiber Castell. Get it together. I'm just trying to find some white paper for us all to see. And it's called Pit Artist Big Pen Brush, as well as these Tombow markers. And. You all know that I like to try and color I'm not sure why it's not focusing hold on one second no don't auto focus thank you this my little one has been playing around with my camera the phone I should say um, every chance he gets so he just presses a lot of buttons and I don't realize I don't go back and check the phone to see if it's in this previous state of before a child touched it um, until I get on like a bozo head lady um, and then I got some memento markers as well I never used any of these some of these are used I don't know what they are let's see uh, dries all surfaces blah 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 replace cap after use so that's what we're going to be working with and I want to keep the middle flower a surprise on the color but I got this over here because we are going to be let's see that's pretty we're going to be coloring and I don't know if it says acid free but I don't know if it's alcohol free I don't know how it's going to work on here but I don't want all of my roses to be the same color you probably knew that already right that's why I bust out these markers um, but we are going to start with this one and I'm going to try and pay attention to how I stamp these lines out uh, because I want the colors still to be on there and I may even try I may even try to um color the same so today you're getting a stamped layer I don't even know what we're going to call this masking is this masking and color so maybe I'll just say color with me in a title I'm not sure yet again I don't know how um, these tumbos are supposed to act in a tumbo ABT they go on smooth, no major issues with that. And again, that's the, my little swatch. 
Um, although it looks more pink, it's turning red. So this is the swatch right here. And then this is the color. And at first I wasn't going to color all of the flowers. So maybe I'll outline them and then color them with the markers because, I mean the pencils. Um, because it just, I don't know. Anywho, what do you all have planned for the weekend? Um, even though it's raining, last weekend I stayed in because it was raining. And even if I can't walk, I need to run some errands. I need to go get some groceries. Um, I bought another book from the Dollar Tree uh, about meals and things like that. And it's like mid-meal planning. And they are um, like healthier meals. As you all know, I'm trying this healthy lifestyle. And I just want to give a shout out to Ruth's Inkwell who... Even though we're not in the same state, unfortunately for me, and fortunate for her because I would be at her house almost every other day until her husband and sounds like, ma'am, you got to go. <laughs> but, um, you know, she made a video a couple of months ago, maybe two months ago now, three months ago about lifestyle changes. And um, she's been motivating me to just stay on task, stay on target. And do the things that I say I want to do and making me more accountable by her actions. So thank you. As well as um, Elements of Designs. You know, she's been going through some of her craft stuff and sorting and organizing. And that motivates me as well to want to sort and organize because it's just motivating. I've watched a few videos, um, some ladies on Pint, not Pinterest, uh, Instagram also have, you know, posted their organizational setup. And although I have a different philosophy about organized things, I'm more of an organized chaos person versus let me put everything in a box and go dig it out the box and use it. I actually do like my stuff um, kind of out in the open because... Um, I can just grab it. When I have things stored away, I tend to not want to go and mess with them because it's all nice and neat. And I know that makes no sense, but, you know, when I was growing up, once you, once my mom would clean the house on Saturday, that was it. I had to stay outside for a while. I couldn't just run in that house. We're going to use this low Cornell Simply Art. And this is $7.99 or was $7.99 in 2016 from Hobby Lobby. I did not purchase these. It was in a D stash. I probably would have never bought those only because they were $7.99, right? And I'm a cheapskate. And this is crimson. And let's see. Yep, these match fairly well in my opinion. Although I've always thought crimson was red. This looks very pink. So these match perfectly together. I really, really don't want to be a colorista. I just want to know my colors and know how they match. And, you know, learn some some blending techniques. Not a lot. Excuse the camera. And I know that some of you don't like the grading or scraping sound. Um, I do apologize for that as well. Um, but that's what I have. That's what we're going to work with. And that's what I'm going to be using. I had made a card for the Messy Mom's Life. The Messy Mom's Life. I can't speak this morning. I haven't drank anything. So my mouth is dry, I guess. Um, and I had used um, a blending makeup brush to do the edges and I want to do that again on this card because I feel like I want to put um, green around the whole outside and I probably should have did that first hindsight is always um, 2020 
most times, right? But I didn't. Um, so I was just thinking about that card that I had created for her in one of her challenges that she had. And I, and I want to try that technique again. So I'll probably try it um, on a another card. Not a card. Well, a card or another paper crafting project. Um, yep. So I want to get out today. Um, I like to get out first thing in the morning, like at 8 o'clock. 7 o'clock if everything was open at 7 but it's not and I want to get to um, the, the thrift stores f fairly early because on Saturdays I like to be home by 1 or 2 o'clock if not before so my um, if we do it before that way he can take a good nap and sometimes I take a good nap right along with him but he can get a good nap in and be refreshed. A couple of days ago, we were on our balcony playing with the bubbles. He loves those dang bubbles, and we got him a bubble blower. I had bought him one from Walmart, and it was a very, very good bubble blower, but it was just so overwhelming at the time because he was a little bit younger. He was about... Mm, maybe almost 13 14 months so right after he was one i bought it and we weren't going outside at that time because he had barely learned how to walk and everything and i was just blowing the bubbles in the house my cat is terrified of bubbles um he's bad excuse the noise in the background that is him he's eight and he's ready to do his normal give me some attention lady and so he's going to do whatever he wants to do um, but anyway I got the bubble maker and we didn't play with it a lot and I should have kept it but I donated it to his school his class and they play with it but it pushes out bubbles fairly quick very rapid um, and they blow perfect so now I have to go out and buy another one because he loves that thing so much you see right here I messed up I um shaded pink from this flower instead of that flower but that's okay no one will really know besides myself I guess considering I'm gonna do that and I really love how these two colors went together Um, which is great for me because I actually picked something that kind of match together so now we're going to go ahead and pull out another color and this is um, a Tombow 603 and that was Tombow 815 I don't know why I put a lot the um like the paintbrush chip because I'm definitely not gonna be painting it. And that's cool how it can go in there. And let's see, let's go ahead and try to pull out the matching. Yep, perfect. And this is called light purple. And if I actually had some colors, some uh, um, markers and a color wheel and on another project I could probably do a upgrade a variant um, you know gradient from either light to dark or dark to light um, where I could connect the colors like string the colors along this mark is dry it's drying out so you know when you buy these stash you kind of get what you're gonna get in some instances but there are a lot of ladies on here that are very good at what they do and um, you know when you contact them and let them know hey 
you know, this thing that I purchased from you, hmm, not so good. They will work with you. Um, and I love that about some of the ladies on here. And some people I just um, have disassociated my money with because I don't feel like I've gotten a, a quality of product from them, even though they've, you know, they've did the video and they show you what they're selling. Sometimes videos can be deceiving. And we'll leave it at that. Um, I believe this, yep, all of this is that flower. I don't know, leave in the comments if you actually like to watch me color. Because I can definitely stop coloring on camera. And, you know, stop the camera and come back once it's all done. But if you don't have a problem with this coloring and me rambling on, I know some of you say you like for me to ramble, but some people's like, show me how you did it and show me the end. And I totally understand that. I'm like that on some instances myself. But, you know, it's kind of like a craft and chat video. And I do want to say that, you know, I've been doing this paper crafting thing for a year now. Um, a little over a year. I'm not celebrating, <laughs> celebrating it. Um, I'm not celebrating the start of my channel either because I've had my channel for... A long time when you watch back in the day um, I've watched YouTube change their format how they have their video layout the stuff on the side it used to be on the side you know the sidebar and that's below in the description box um, I've watched them change that format a few times and I want to say back in the day you couldn't really comment as an anonymous anonymous watcher, you actually had to have a channel or a username. You didn't have to have a channel, but you had to have a username and be logged in to comment as well as watch um, videos that were dubbed over, you know, 18 or parental consent or rated whatever. So that's where I was because I... Um, taught certain things and like childbirth is definitely something that you want to be able to say I'm over this age limit to watch and this is a mint color you can't see it a mint color and you all know that I have a, a, a special place in my heart for green blue and gray or silver as I call it mm. I knew that was going to be too dark I just didn't realize it was going to be that dark that shade so this one may work out because I, I want this one to this color in particular to be a little bit darker than that so that might work as well we'll go with that one um so Let's go ahead and trace out this. I try to keep my um, fingers out of view. And as best as possible, at least, I don't have those fancy side cams. <laughs> That you can see different angles. Although I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's fairly simple to do. You just need to get two camera setups, and I think you can um, have like a delay or a button that you can just click and switch over. But I don't think we'll be there anytime ever. I like this format. Now, if someone was to come in and sponsor me and 
take over my channel, so to speak, and just direct me, I might do it, but I doubt it. And not like a, a, a sponsor that says, hey, I need you to broadcast these color pencils or this paper. In particular, I mean like someone that's going to come in and revamp my entire image. Not just... You know, one thing like left-handed crafter sponsorship. You know, something like that. No. But I don't think my image needs to be revamped. You all know that I am a quirky crafter. Um, and some of you don't see my no-nonsense <laughs> demeanor. But I do have one. I do. I'm going to leave. I'm going to put this because this is stamped over that one. And so I'm going to leave this portion. It's going to be colored over by this stamp. I hope that made sense. Um, so all this stuff that's on this side is going to be stamped over with whatever color that's that is. Um, I missed the spot. Don't you hate that when you're doing something? And someone who hasn't, someone comes up to you, like if you're painting or cutting grass, like, hey, you missed a spot. You see that big patch of grass right there? If you cut grass, you know what I'm talking about. And you have people around you that are spectators. Um, my mom used to do that a lot. She'd be like, um, you missed a spot. Thanks, mom. Thanks. I've been missing her a lot lately. Um, I'm not sure... Well, I know why I I miss her because she's my mother, but um, I'm not I don't know if anything has triggered um, triggered this to happen as frequently as it's happening. I am getting ready to um, move back to Texas, so. That could be it. You know. Um, when my baby was first born, I was really sad that she wasn't here because she used to always talk about, I hope I don't die before I get a grandchild. I hope I don't die. I was like, you know, you're not going anywhere. You don't have to worry about that. And plus, I'm not having kids. So, two things happened. She went somewhere and I had a baby. Who has some of her ways too. Of course he's going to have some of her ways. You know. It's in the bloodline. But my mom was not always a nice lady. Not at all. I think the